after a year and a half, we are thrilled to be able to say Broadway is back. And not only that, the Tony Awards are this weekend, and it will be a ceremony like no other. Here to break it all down is Sirius XM on Broadway host and program director Julie James. Hi, Julie. Hi, Sarah. It's so great to be back with you. I am. Like, there's so, it's like a new energy in here right now because you are sitting here with me talking about <laughs> Broadway being back after this unprecedented uh, shutdown. It's finally back. What has the energy been like in the Broadway community? New York is more New York than ever because Broadway is back. It's been emotional. It's been yeah. exciting. Audiences are thrilled. The performers are thrilled. It's just a love fest. <laughs> it is a love fest, and I feel it with everyone that I talk to, but I think people are still like wondering what does it feel like to go back to theaters? What, is, what does it mean for masks, vaccinations? Yeah, well, the priority was always being safe in order to be back, so that means vaccines are required. Right. I recommend getting the app so that you can just quickly show it to uh, show it at the theater along with your ID and masks are also required so that you can feel good being elbow to elbow again. Right. And make sure you keep them on so nobody yeah. has to like, tell you and monitor. Amen, that Sarah. You know, <laughs> well, you know, from returning favorites to new shows, let's talk about what's actually running right now, starting with what's returning. First. Yes. Well, we have come from away, just started performances back this week. So that was exciting. We've got big ones like Hamilton, Wicked, Hades Town, Waitress with Sarah Bareilles. Yeah. Um, and then just tonight, we have an exciting night ahead. Moulin Rouge comes back to the right. Al Hirschfeld. Right. So it's, uh, and there's like 25 more shows that will open between now and the end of the year. Oh my God, I love hearing Plays that. and musicals, so something for everybody. Oh great, well and the Tonys are this weekend. Yeah. Um, and this is gonna be a Tonys like no other. So tell us what the show will look like. Yeah, well someone who knows a little bit about the Tonys, six time winner herself, Audra McDonald, will be hosting from right. the Winter Garden Theater. And that you can see on Paramount Plus at 7 p.m. But at 9 p.m., Leslie Odom Jr. will be hosting a concert really with the tribute of Broadway is back, just celebrating the fact that Broadway is back. And that's on CBS. And um, the top three awards will be given at the end of the night. Oh, okay, on, on the Leslie Odom Jr. one. Correct. So it's a twofer. Yeah, it's a twofer. Okay. More right. to celebrate. More to celebrate. <laughs> well, the shows that are nominated for, for this award show are the, the shortened season from 2019 to that's right. So who's up for the big awards? Jagged Little Pill, based on the famous Alanis Morissette album yes. with an original story built around those famous songs, is in the lead. See that yeah, either. well now you'll have your chance. They yeah. start back again next month. And um, and then Moulin Rouge is really right behind them with with also with like one less award that they're nominated for. So it's a it's a hot race. Oh my and it's a big night for Moulin Rouge, or it could be a big night for two of the stars of Moulin Rouge. Uh, let's start with Aaron Tveit. Aaron Tveit was the only nominee for best actor in a musical but he still has to pull the votes because it's a, like a technical thing so yeah, this is confusing that, to me yeah they still have to the votes happened actually back in March um, and so he still has to pull a certain number of the votes to win even though he's the only one in the category so he could potentially not win even though he's the only one nominated let's hope that doesn't happen right, right, right. and yeah, then so a amazing. lot of us are pulling for Danny Burstein yes. who's a seven time nominee and could this be his could this be finally his night to take to, to take at home. We all hope so. Yeah, and for leading uh, actress in a musical, who do you think is going to take that? Uh, the beloved favorite seems to be Adrian Warren, who is a powerhouse tour de force in Tina, the Tina Turner musical. She's returning to that role in just a couple of weeks. It sure would be nice to see her walk into the Lunt Fontan with a Tony. Uh, would be, what are you most excited to see now that things are back? Oh, you know, all of these shows coming back are so exciting, but there's a lot of new things that hadn't yet gotten off the ground. You've yeah. got company with Patty LaPone. Pone, you've got Mrs. Doubtfire, you've got, there's there's plays that are written by black writers in more representation on yeah, Broadway. A lot of history being made. A lot of history being made. It's a good time. I hope everyone will get those tickets and support over the coming months because yeah. it's exciting that it's back now, but we need to keep that momentum going. Yeah, and I think that a lot of people kind of took it for granted and just knew that they were going to be there and then wouldn't buy tickets. So I think now, for me especially, I'm like, oh my God, I didn't get to see that, I didn't get to see that. Now I have to go get those tickets exactly. because I've been dying to see some theater, and I'm hoping that everybody feels the same way. There's nothing like it. We need to support the arts. These people were out of work, cast, crew, yeah. everyone was out of work, concessions, merchandise. Yes. So let's support them. So let's them. support them. Come on back to Broadway. Yes, yes, do what she said. All right, be sure to follow Julie on social media for the latest theater news, and check out the On Broadway channel on Sirius XM. Julie, good to see you. Thank so you good so to see much. you, Sarah. Thank you.